Initially, I was here for some photo shoots, but I ended up doing the Muscle Mania Universe, the Model Universe Championships. It was unexpected, I think, but maybe at the back of my mind, I always knew that I was going to do it. I'm not, I'm not sure. Going straight in, straight into sportswear, so for my mini kit on. Uh, it's good fun, it's, I forgot how much fun that, that round actually is without being too cheesy. I came in the best condition I've ever come in and I felt my performance on stage was also a different level to what I've done in the past. What a buzz. Got the uh, swimwear now, so uh, got a rush back, get all this gear off, get tanned up, oiled up. And then uh, on stage again. Happy number TV land coming on stage. With posing, it's all about learning about your body and um, what angles work for you. Just practice, you know, look in the mirror, you know, get your friends to look at you, you know, do all the preparation leading up to it to make sure when you do go on stage, it's as natural as possible and, uh, and you're not nervous. This is a, a model competition, so they want to they want to see how you could be used as a model. Not, it's not about getting as ripped and shredded as possible. It's not about size, it's about how commercial you are, how, how marketable you are to a company, how you could work for a, for a brand. They, they still want to see that your, your fitness, kind of, you've, you've got that fitness side to you. That, that's why they throw in the swimmer around so they do show off your physique. So, so they can see, see you in like an advert for a, a sports club or a sports brand. So they don't want to see any muscle posing, so they don't want to see you, you tensing. You know, they, they just want to see, see your physique in its natural way. In this competition, I, I think there were 60 guys from all around the world, so there's different nationalities. It's a really good, really good atmosphere. I loved it. So yeah, really, really pleased with the top 10. Unexpected, got a um, top 10 finish. Yeah, I'm over the moon, just, uh, just uh, buzzing now. So yeah, I'm blown away, blown away. Following the competition, I've had a couple of photo shoots. And I've had one with a very well-known photographer called Louis Raphael, who's very well-known in the States and also across the world. He's got some phenomenal shots from that. Uh, a lot of variety. He's just he's amazing with with lighting angles. So I'm looking forward to seeing those. I've also shot a video today. Been in the sea. Got um, got hair wet. Got covered in salt, sand, seaweed. But it's, uh, it's great fun, and uh, you know you don't experience things like this every day. So I'm, I'm making the most of it. And I just love shooting with uh, different photographers. Every photographer is different, they have, have different angles, they use the light differently, they like you posing differently, they, they've got different ideas, and um, I just love it. In 10, 20 years time, I can look back at these photos in South Beach, Miami, and think, wow, you know, I was, I was there. You know, life's about working hard, it's not about, you know, laying back, Take, it's about taking opportunities and pushing yourself to the limit, and that's, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm going to continue to do, just to see where, where I can get. Oh, <laughs> this <laughs>